Let's get back to Milford. Our Josh Brogadier is live on the scene of that breaking news, a tractor trailer impacting traffic there, Josh. All right, Katie, I'll take it here. That is breaking overnight. Yes, indeed, a truck involved in this serious crash, leaving it dangling over parts of the overpass, as you can see. As Katie just mentioned, Josh Brogadier live near the scene there along 495 in Milford. Now, Josh, are you on 495 or is the truck on 495? The truck's on 495, so I'm on 16, which is just below. 495 is actually above 16 here. And Doug, one thing to point out here is this big rig, or at least the cab of it, is still kind of unseen. It was up on a crane a little while ago. It is now over to the left. You might be able to see it. A couple vehicles are getting by, and you can see some workers there in the middle of the lanes. They're really doing an extensive cleanup. The video we have from earlier certainly is dramatic and unfortunate for the driver of this big rig. And they went halfway over the side of the highway hanging there. So fire crews and other crews had to come in and get that vehicle, part of it down, leave part of it up. Two people were in the rig at the time of the crash, from what we understand. And cleanup crews with NEDT have an additional challenge, and that's to clean up diesel fuel that spilled from that truck onto the roadway and onto the roadway below. They're still doing that cleanup right now. Katie mentioned there is one lane getting by, very slow going right now. You can actually see some of them coming through. Now, the extent of the injuries of the two people, that's still to be confirmed by state police. We don't have that yet. Again, the cleanup is going to be ongoing for a while. And Route 16, Doug, as you mentioned, I'm standing on that. That is certainly closed down now and looks like it will be for the foreseeable future. We're live in Milford. Josh Brogadier, WCVB News.